Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit today about one of the biggest things, if not the biggest thing in my mind, to avoid when you are out there cold approaching. And if you are going to be out there cold approaching, you need to remember this one. There's a lot of things that you could do to shoot yourself in the foot. And I would even I would even place what I'm about to tell you above and beyond or, or submit to you as a bigger mistake or misstep when you're doing this stuff than going up to her and saying something just completely stupid, putting your foot in your mouth, making some idiotic comment, whatever you want to say, even above and beyond that is just this. The mistake is lingering, okay? Lingering around, hanging out too long before you do something, it puts out this kind of creepy stalker vibe, and that is like the absolute worst thing that you could possibly you know, convey to the world around you and to this woman that, that you might be interested in, in talking to or getting to know, as I said, much that's much more damning than anything that's going to come out of your mouth, I feel like. And, you know, the, the things that, that um, you know, can, might come out of your mouth can oftentimes be, be recovered or rectified. But the one thing that's very hard to overcome is like once you give somebody that vibe that you're kind of like that creepy stalker, whatever, it's very hard to undo that. It's very hard to erase that out of somebody's mind. And it, and it just, the likelihood of your situation going well for you after this this is caught notice of by the woman is is slim. And this is just, I'm speaking from experience because I've definitely done it. I've definitely sat there and, you know, paced back and forth or walked around or made too many circles around the area before I actually finally went in and, and tried to talk to the girl. And women almost have this like sixth sense about this stuff. I swear to God, they've got some kind of special radar hardwired into their, their minds and in their bodies. They can just tell when you're, you're that guy that's doing that sort of behavior. So it's not always the easiest thing to do. I know it's not always easy to find a good break in the moment or break in the action to go up and approach and try to talk to somebody, but just keep that in the back of your mind. The longer you linger, the worse off you're gonna be. So yes, I'm always talking about analyzing the situation. You're gonna need a, a you know a minute or two or something like that to, to take a read on things or try to figure some things out or make an assessment on, um, you know, just what, you know, what little things you can tell about her and uh, how you're going to make your approach. But after you do that initial analysis, like you, you basically got to just jump right in there. I, I, I put you up to it that jumping in on the front end of that moment, like almost initially, like right after you've noticed her and made that decision that it's somebody you're interested in, the sooner the better kind of thing, guys. Don't linger. Don't make that mistake. Don't circle around her like a, like a bloodthirsty shark that's just, you know, swirling around the water just waiting for something, I don't know, before you jump in and quote unquote attack the moment or the situation. It's it's going to work against you so, so much. And I, I'm sure if some of you guys have been out there in the world, you know, as, as you've tried to meet and approach women, you've probably noticed this and you've probably wondered about why that is. Well, just I've explained it a little bit. There, there's some psychology behind it that you need to be aware of and keep in the back of your mind. So, all right, guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon.